Hey guys, Brian Hill, you're on the Complete Combatants channel, and this is one of the drills that I teach in class and score you on for top shot. Uh, this is called the Mix 6 drill. It's something that I came up with for a Range Master Master Class presentation. Uh, I found to serve well. It is kind of a busy hands drawing drill, positions that we see the armed citizen needs to be good at. So, Mix 6 refers to six different types of draws or activities during it. We're trying to improve processing power. It is on a part-time. Part-time should be the lower level uh, entry level technique for shooters where we give you enough time to do something uh, and then you have that time. Now in class I do this with a whistle which even extends it a little bit more than the part-times. Since I'm by myself today I'm going to do it with the part-timer itself all right and I'll also have to refer to my notes maybe once or twice. Okay if you see the target behind me basically what I have is a USPSA silhouette in the middle with a B8 over the middle of it. You don't have to buy this fancy target. You could just use a USPSA target or an IDPA target or Range Master Q and put the B8 in the middle of it. All right. The B8 scoring is pretty easy. If you hit the 10 ring, you're down zero points. If you hit the nine ring, you're down one point. If you hit the eight ring, you're down two points. If you hit the seven ring, you're down three points. If you miss the seven ring, it's a complete miss. It's an utter mic, so it's down 10 points. Head is scored 10, nine, or is scored zero, one and a minus 10 if you miss the whole head. All right, making it fairly simple. I like this to kind of keep my self-defense skills up, keep my busy hands. I get a lot of grief on the internet about my hand position sometimes because I start here a lot, uh, but I practice hands up, I practice hand busy. This keeps me honest with this drill and that way I can do whatever I need to. So one thing you'll need for this is uh, an empty magazine. That's good. We're going to substitute that as a foam for the busy hand drill. Uh, you'll need your eyes and ears. I'm going to shoot the target over here. I'm shooting at seven yards. All right. It's a total of 15 rounds. You need two magazines to do it because the final one is a reload on it as you get done. I'll let you know the par times. I'm going to put the whole, whole thing, the, the description, the scoring methodology, and the par times underneath this so you know where to get it. i uh, also put the link to the target so you guys can find that also. All right. You're going to see me shooting, but you can't see the target too on this one. We'll look at the target after I get done, and I'll tell you what I'm going to do with each one of them. All right. Okay, so the first one is with the hands up, I'm going to draw and fire two to the center of the chest in the center of the bullseye. All right, two to the center of the bullseye. Okay, no problem, 246, plenty of time to do the motion, 172 draw and a 74 split, I'm zero points down, one X ring, one 10 ring, okay? So that was hands up. Now, the next one is going to be uh, primary hand only, okay? Primary hand only, or is it support hand first? Better look, Brian, look at your notes. Primary hand only is correct. Primary hand only, you'll draw and fire two rounds. You'll have five seconds to do so. Big thing is make sure you get your support hand out of the way. Don't hold your mic, Brian. All right, but hold your shirt and then draw or put it behind you, whatever you feel is most comfortable. I put my hand here uh, because that simulates an overhook for me also in jujitsu. It's a good steady and then I don't swing myself with it. All right, so it's draw and fire two primary hand only in five seconds. All right, 301, plenty of time. 224 draw, 77 split. Had to go find the dot a little bit at the beginning. Uh, that happens on the right hand. I'm using a new dot too, if you guys notice. I have the Holosun 508P. I've moved away from my arm R. And we'll see how this one serves me. My hiney sights uh, were really covering up the arm R window. I needed a bigger window. Thought maybe I could shoot a little bit sooner. And my eye recognizes that something has changed tremendously. Okay, so this one is going to be a busy hands drill. So if I was on the phone or I was holding something in my support hand, what we see in, especially in active self-protection videos from John Cree is people don't let go of stuff. All right, so this is just a bit of practice to let go of this. Gonna draw and fire two, you still have three seconds to do so. All right, stand by. Two sixty seven.
193 draw, 74 split. Okay, down zero points so far. All right, next one is failure to neutralize. That's to the body, one to the head. Uh, I believe I gave you four seconds to do this one. Yep, failure to neutralize in four seconds. So draw and fire to the body, one to the head. Remember, you have a head box here. This is the, the down zero, this is down one, and that's 10 points down. So don't miss. Three forty-eight had a little bobble, had a little bobble, a little tense in the hand. One ninety-three on the draw, uh, seventy-four split and eighty-one to the head. I'm still down zero points. This one is a low ready with a verbal command. All right, so we draw the low ready. We give a verbal command. For me, it's don't move. It is the simplest management command I know to manage people. I don't want them to do anything. All right. Uh, unless he was pointing a gun at me. I don't want him to move. I'm, maybe, maybe I want him to drop it, but mostly it's don't move from me. Uh, and I'm going to remind myself to keep moving away from him. So I'm going to yell, don't move. When the timer goes off, I lift from low ready and I shoot two rounds. This is also a three second drill. Don't move! Okay, 181. By far the easiest one, you're already prepared, you're already out of great savings. All right, so this one is draw and fire two, and then reload and fire two. Now, you can set up your magazine for uh, emergency slide lock if you want to, if that's important to you. Uh, uh, you've, you're going to fire 15 total rounds, so it's pretty easy to figure it out. You put 13 in here, it'll lock open, and then put two, have at least two in the other one in case there's a malfunction. But it's draw and fire two and reload two. The par time on this is nine seconds. That's an extremely long par time for this. So make sure you get into the processing mode of doing these actions of drawing, firing, reloading, and firing yet again. All right, stand by. Okay, plenty of time. 658, 180 draw, 62 split, 332 reload, 84 split. All right, so it looks like I've shot a perfect score on this. Uh, and that's not an all the time thing, guys. So you have 15 rounds, each is worth 10 points, so it's 150 points. Let's go look at this real quick so you can see. If I don't show you the target, someone will think that I'm not telling the truth. So you can see everything's in here. Line breaks count. As long as it breaks the line, that's fine with me. That's the size of the target. It's good shooting, uh, good to the head box. So it's 150 points, so it's a perfect score. I'd like you to score at least 135 on this, which would be 90%, okay? And that'll allow you to, to work on these hand positions and get pretty good at it. I think this is a good drill for the armed citizen because it's the things that we see over and over and that we can practice. Fairly simple, B8s are pretty common. If you had a B8 and a circle or an index card, that would do it. You can do it without the Q, it doesn't really matter. Simple to score, I didn't have to count anything out, so it's just 150 points across the board. That's your mix six, shooting it at seven yards. It's 15 rounds, you need two magazines, and uh, you can do almost this, this whole thing on a par time. Uh, you can use a timer for that. You could even set your phone to beep twice on it so that you'd have the end of it and you know if you got done or not. Uh, great place for you to start as a shooter, uh, to start forcing these times in a little bit and realize that you don't have all day. There's a certain amount of things that have to be done with this, okay? Uh, it is a trap though. Uh, if, you're, if you're a pretty fast shooter, uh, shooting a perfect score, I gotta tell you, it doesn't happen all the time for me. You have to really pay attention. You have to really turn up your vision because basically I'm shooting this circle and this square. That's the only thing that was available to me. And that's, that's a good way for us to measure our performance. All right, you guys will see this in the class if you train with me. On my two-day classes, I do the bullseye drill, and then I do the trifecta. On the second day, I do the mix six and the core four, and uh, then we get a good score across the board. All four scores are combined for the top shot in the class. So it doesn't matter how fast you are, it doesn't matter how accurate you are, you're gonna have to be all of them because every score is a little different, every test is a little different. All right guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm Brian Hill with The Complete Combatant. If you'd like me to come and train near you, 
uh, just reach out to my lovely wife Shelly and she'll get hosting opportunities available. I'm traveling a lot. I'll be in a lot of places this year and I hope to see you in class. And as always guys, measure, refine, and perform.